Hello everyone, Draken84 here and welcome back to another Shotgun King. So, I have a slight headache, um, but um, playing this game will probably make that go away like snow before the sun. I think that's a Dutch expression, but well, whatever. Um, still on rank 3, um, we could go higher, but f I, th I feel like this is just a good one for grinding achievements. So, here we go. I'm sniffing a little bit, I'm very sorry about that, I will try to keep it to a minimum. Uh, let's just reload in place here and kill the bishop. Now I'm going to get a rook soul actually. I think a rook soul is just very nice to have. Sure. Let's make sure that these don't promote. Boom. And we escape. And we kill the king. Could probably have killed the king a turn sooner. Alright, here we go. Extra barrel. There's the achievement to get three extra barrels. To win with three extra barrels. Um, something to keep in mind, but not with divine healing. Bishops can heal nearby allies instead of moving. I mean, and bishops plus one HP. I just don't want to deal with that. Then there's high focus, my favorite card in the entire game. Plus one firepower, minus fire arc. That's very, very good. And you don't keep it if something's adjacent to you. And then there's pillage, remove a rook, add five pawns, pawns plus one HP. That's fine. Um, I don't think there is an achievement with pillage that I still need. There's one with a few pawn cards, but that's just for the ones that make them, makes them go fast, right? So, uh, pawns having an extra HP is something to keep in mind, but they have four HP and we, we have five firepower, so it should be fine. So let's just um, shoot a bunch. Oh yeah, we are, <laughs> we are in check. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's make sure that nothing is adjacent to us. And I mean, we are running out of ammo with all of these bonds here. Boom. Boom. did it we won the first one and uh, there's also um, high focus actually um, unlocks one card I think it's it actually unlocks analysis paralysis I think yeah analysis paralysis is a card that you can only get when you have high focus it's also one that I still need for an achievement so let's see what we're going to do here cross blessing plus two fire range that's pretty good our fire range could be better Analysis paralysis can't play for six turns or until you are in check. That's um, kind of dangerous, especially right with the high focus. It means that we won't have as much space to work with. Um, extra barrel plus seven f de de degrees fire arc and one additional shell, shell in our shotgun. That's great. Theocracy, remove a king, add a bishop, win if all bishops are dead. I mean, I think I need to pick up the analysis paralysis just for the achievement, but then I need to look at what the other things are that I need. Yeah, it's Sacred Crown and Black Mist. Analysis Paralysis, Sacred Crown and Black Mist. I mean, I also really want the achievement for the extra barrels, but I feel like you can just get that one at some point. I don't know. Theocracy isn't, isn't bad. You can definitely win with that. Um, Let's, let's go with Analysis Paralysis. I haven't played against that a lot, so we will skip the first few turns. And then we're not in check, so let's just start shooting a bunch. Yeah, we are definitely running out of ammo here. Uh, oops. Boom. Boom. All right, one of these is promoting. And it's that one. It becomes a queen. That's actually fine. I'm 
actually using my rook soul here. Because now I have a queen soul. Pretty good. And we kill the king and we win. Alright. Welcome gift. Oh, that's... That's definitely not the worst with analysis paralysis. So the, the biggest problem with analysis paralysis is that... Right, you, you just start on the back foot. And this can actually put you on the front foot again. I don't think that's really how the expression goes. But the mode does the same thing really, right? It may, means that pieces can't um, get to you as quickly, so the impact of analysis paralysis isn't as big. And also the mode is just a better card than welcome gift, so I'm gonna go with that. So there's a queen now. Whoop, all right. Uh, I'm actually shooting here. Pretty good. Oh. I should have seen that coming, really. Alright. Let's try and kill this queen first. We are... I don't think... I'm not 100% sure if we are 100% sure to kill the pawn here, but... Um... Let's kill the queen first. Yep, there's a lot of pawns here. Mm hmm. Cool. Cool. Alright, let's go here, do this, and kill the last pawn. Yeah, this um, village makes it. Um, into quite a hassle to make sure that uh, none of the pawns are promoting. Oh, this is exactly what we needed. Ermine belt, plus three max ammo. I mean, plus three isn't an insane amount, but it's actually just very important here. Crusades, remove a bishop, add two knights. I mean, it's fine. Um, there's going to be three knights and zero bishops, so... Yeah. Something to keep in mind. Caltrops shows down white and black backup cards by 50%. I mean, it's fine. King's Mistress, add a queen. Queen's moves are limited to three squares. I mean, we need that for two achievements. So it's something that we want at some point. But, I mean, there's other achievements that we need here. And we're just going to go for the Ermine Belt to try and make sure that we can actually get the achievements that we want. <laughs> You can, you can cast out a very wide net and just hope for the best, but at some point you just have to start um, making sure that you can actually win. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be in check here, so we have a very long range, that's actually very good for us. Alright, I'm not in check. Killed a bunch of pawns, so let's kill those as well. Make sure that we are not. Oh, we are going to be in check. I, I was going to go over here, but then I thought, well, the queen is going to go over there and put us in check. But, well, we were in check anyway. That's fine. Uh, we have four firepower, so let's not shoot here. Alright. And let's see if we can actually kill the king. Boom. Well, not yet. There we go. Yeah, we have complete control of the situation here. There's August Presence. I think Mode, August Presence and Wand of Gust is an achievement. I'm going to look at that piece. Uh, there's also, also an achievement with that, but we are not going to get that one. We're, we're taking the bottom option anyway, but I think I want, I want to make sure that I have this one. Majestic sensor, plus one max ammo, extra soul slots, but karma, I mean, you just don't want to fight against karma. So I'm going to look at this one. Alright, so we are looking for one of gusts um, for um, the so social just distancing achievement and for sacred crown and black mist. Alright, take your six turns. See if I care. 
Yeah, there's getting to be a lot of pieces on the on the board. Right. Remove a bishop, add two knights. Remove a knight, add two bishops. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, we're not in check, so let's just try to kill some stuff. Um, I'm gonna reload in place. Oh yeah, August presents. Things can't get adjacent to me anymore. That's great. Because now, right, the knight can't even get next to us to pressure us. So that's perfect. Yeah, let's let's use all of this ammo. And boom. And boom. And that one. I mean, I just want to make very sure that I can't just randomly lose to something. Alright, so we have three very specific cards that we want here. Right, Caltrops, I mean, it's fine. Slows down white and black uh, black backup cards by 50% and injured pieces lose to speed. I mean, we're not injuring a lot of pieces. Although we are injuring a bunch of pawns, so that's fine. Red book, add a bishop, that's not great. Uh, bishops can move orthogonally. Golden aging makes the king and queen weaker. And there's karma again. I definitely don't want uh, karma. So we're going with the, the top option. Uh, red book can be, can be kind of scary, but it's definitely manageable. Um, it means that we are a lot more likely to be in check uh, after the analysis paralysis uh, stops. Um, Cosrops is great. So, yeah. I think there is an achievement that we need a red book for that uh, is with other bishop cards, but we'll see. If it comes up, then we will see it come up. Alright, yeah, we are in check now. Um, I want to cut off this knight, so I'm going to stand over here so that this knight can put us in check. And just try to kill some stuff. It's fine. We are not in check, so let's do this. Uh huh. There's a lot of pieces here. Alright, now we have to take care of all of these pawns all at the same time. Um, sure. Alright, we can stop all of them. But we will stop as many as we can. Yep. King is on the, on the attack. Let's kill that one. Let's actually try to kill the king here. Right. Yeah, there's no reason to wait. We have the right souls. Oh, there's black mist. So we want that. Uh, there's also militia. Yeah. Um, militia isn't the worst here. It's um, it's just that there's a lot of uh, bonds on the board. But conscription is basically just as bad. And we need uh, black mist for the achievement with the... Uh, um, Right, analysis paralysis, black mist, and uh, sacred crown. So maybe we can get that one today. <laughs> would be fun. Board is getting stacked. We would definitely not say no to more firepower. We are not in check. Great. So let's just try and take care of some stuff here. We are still not going to be in check. So that's great. Um, yeah, fine. We are in check. Fine. Yeah, I'm just trying to um, clear the board of as many things as I can, as quickly as I, as I can. I am in check. Boom. And boom. 
Boom. That's fine. Because now we can just kill the king. Oh, we still had the black mist too. Um, if we never need the black mist, then we are fine. Um, plus three blade. We are unlikely to use that a lot. And Iron Maiden. I mean, I just don't want to deal with that. Um, I want to pick that once when I'm going to grab the achievements for Iron Maiden and Gender Queer and there's one more. Then there's King Shoulders, so I'm, I'm not picking the top one. Once per floor, drag a nearby piece on your king and throw it in any direction. I mean, that's pretty decent. Uh, you can just throw something off the board, you can uh, pick something up and uh, uh, kill something else with it. We're not likely to be next to a lot of pieces because we have August presence. But if it happens, then we are going to be able to use it. Um, King can't be killed if a knight is alive and knight plus one HP. We're picking that up. There's uh, one achievement with the bodyguard that we still need, but uh, we are unlikely to use it today. Yeah, we are. Oh, we are actually not in check. That's funny. Um, so is there somewhere where we can stand where we won't be in check by this bishop? I think so. Let's go here. Hmm. This isn't great. Yeah, we are in check by the queen now. So move again. The queen first. Boom. Let's go over here because I don't want to uh, be put in check by this thing. In check again. In check again. Uh. Alright. Let's just get rid of all of these bishops. Boom. Boom. Yes, we have control of the board now. And we can just start killing the king. Cool. Yeah, and king's shoulders is unlikely to be used a lot. Oh, interesting. The game really wants me to pick up karma, but I don't think I'm going to. Deep waters, non-night pieces within the boat can't attack you. That's actually pretty good. I mean, a lot of the time when we are in check, it's by pieces that are in the moat, so... I would be okay with picking that up, but Karma, I mean, you're just not doing that, right? Unfaithful Steed, plus one move range, flip card if there's no knight on the board, that's okay. Add a knight after 15 turns and open a path in the moat. I mean, that's not great with the bodyguard, but being more maneuverable is actually something that we kind of want, right? We're getting put in check a lot, so that's pretty good. The path in the mode means that we are more likely to be in check. Um, so where are we moving? I think over here? No, we're moving over here because then the knight can put us in check. Um, yeah, the fact that knights have more HP is actually uh, becoming relevant. And things are passing by the mode because there's a hole in the mode. I'm going to have to make a lot of effort to make sure that this spawn doesn't die while I'm in front of it. Even though, obviously, I mean, I have black mist, so... Even if things go wrong... Um, won't be that much of a problem. I'm in check. Could I just kill the king here? Probably. Um... I, I want to make very sure that I don't just lose to um, to some promoted pawns because right we have inevitability here oh yeah of course we need to kill the knight first 
and now we win. Very good. Hey, there's Nightbane again. Plus three blade. <laughs> also, plus, plus two blade. Scouting, remove a knight, add two pawns. Pawns plus one speed? Oh no. That means that pawns are 100% promoting, but look at tower isn't great as well. I mean, Bushido is fine, but we're not going to be next to pieces a lot. Also, this it looks like we're not getting any achievements this time. Um, right, scouting an unfaithful steed, don't do anything. Um, yeah. I'm gonna pick up scouting. I know that there's uh, at least one achievement that I need that uses scouting, but it's not... Yeah. All right, le let's just do this. It's not great, but at least we don't lose one firepower to the Bushido. Right, and Bushido is very good if you're actu actually planning on using it, but we're not. So I don't think that really helps us. The turns like this also makes make me glad that we didn't pick up the the welcome gift. Right, welcome gift is great if you are not going to be reloading on your first turn. Oh, this is just so bad. There's just a million pawns everywhere. And they're so incredibly fast. Yeah, things are going to be promoting and there's not a lot I can do about it. Hello, queen. Great. We are in check. Are we in checkmates? I mean, we, we, si we still have a queen soul and stuff like that. So we also still have the black mist. We haven't used it yet. So it's easy to forget that we have it. And actually, Bushido would be great here, but... I'm not sure if we would be in this position if we had Bushido. Um, so what do we do? We can use our Queen Soul to move over here. Oh, we can actually move over there without the Queen Soul. I forgot about that. Yeah, let's do that. Right. Yeah, all of the pawns are promoting. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, I mean, I, c I might just be able to kill the king. Let's try that. Um, hmm. Get more ammo. Oh yeah, I need to kill the knight too. Maybe this was too optimistic. Oh yeah. Haha. <laughs> this was definitely too optimistic. Right, I can't even move here because of the militia. Um, King is on 1 HP. Oh, earlier I could have um, probably used my king's shoulders. Hmm. I'm going to have to move over here. Reload this. Oh, I'm in check. Still not in checkmate. Oh yeah, honestly, let's just do this. That's a lot better. Um, let's go over here. Go over here. Go over here. Shoot over here. Oh no, a knight. There's the bodyguard again. <laughs> King can't be killed if a knight is alive. Well, it's fine. I mean, we're not in trouble. We have so much time. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, that got pretty complicated. I mean, 
analysis paralysis means that you're just always going to be behind at the start and that's something you really have to keep in mind yeah um that's one thing you can say about um um uh, karma is that um right even if you never pick it up it can still majorly influence your runs because right we didn't want to pick up karma and that actually made things a lot more difficult all right interesting that was the night by the way it's here um, I don't think we're going to be able to kill this spawn. Right, we have five firepower now. Let's not even try. There's a rook. That's fine. Uh, we are not in check, so let's just do this. Blade to conserve ammo. We are in check now. Alright, uh, we can actually move next to this and toss it away, but it's not going to die, so that's kind of awkward. So alright, if we move here, then the knight's going to put us in check and this pawn is going to move and th this bishop might actually move too to put us in check, so that's not great. I don't know. Right, that one didn't put us in check. That's actually kind of good for us. Boom. And then we go like this. Um, there's not a lot of spots that we can go anymore. I'm gonna move over here because, all right. Oh yeah, of course. The we have August presence, so the pawn couldn't actually move next to us. So that's perfect. I'm trying to save my um, king shoulders if I can. That wasn't perfect. Um, sure, let's just kill this, kill that. Boom. Cool. Now it's just you and me. Yeah, um, there's some other... Uh, options that we had for cars that we could take to uh, cast a wider net in order to try and get achievements so we didn't optimize every opportunity to get achievements but I'm not sure if we could have actually gotten there if we had picked up everything that could have gotten us an achievement anyway I mean um, this was a really fun run um, not all too special and we didn't get an achievement this time but I mean achievement hunting isn't fun if you're always getting the achievements right um, at some point I will probably move up one difficulty I don't think it will be this week yet uh, next week we will be playing with Victoria after that I will probably feel like uh, things have gotten too easy because Victoria is just more powerful we'll see uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next shotgun king video Goodbye.